Okay, me and Tanya are just now leaving the mall. We're going to go home, grab our swim stuff, not run over anybody in the process, and uh, go swimming for a bit. But that's not why I'm making this video. So <laughs> Tanya and I had something magical happen. We were walking back to our car through Macy's. And then, that's you. She saw her doppelganger. It was... It was like looking in a mirror. Basically. Yeah. She was slightly skinnier than me, but pretty much same shorter. glasses, same taste in clothing, same haircut, same, you know, ethnicity, Caucasian. It was, Crazy. I, I must have done like a quadruple take, and she looked like she might have been frightened by how many how much I was, how hard I was looking at her. I know, we both <laughs> were, she was looking at us weird, like what they did say, and then I kept repeating, your doppelganger, your doppelganger, and then we ran. And this, I remembered the old legend that if you see your doppelganger, it means you're going to die. It was crazy so that stuff. That was a bit morbid of my, my brain to do that. So we started running. We, we, <laughs> ran, we ran we ran through Macy's to the actual yeah. mall area. We finished. We, 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 got, we got lost. We got stuck in the perfume. Oh, yeah. You're still recording. Yeah. And the vent is right next to the microphone. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. That's why my window's down. Oh. I was just thinking about the freeway. Yeah, that freeway's up like a mile away from here still. Anyway, we were in such a panic to get out of that store, we ran into the perfume section by accident. Not that that means anything, it's not fun. It's just, it's just, it's just random. Mm -hmm. I'm done talking. Huh? Oh. I don't... Fan doesn't mess with it too much. No, you should do that one recording you said where I didn't have a clue what you said. That's different. That's a different time of recording. One's like the microphone. Actually, the same microphone. You sure? Why would you have to have different microphones for the same Because it's, it's a phone. weird. Probably the same microphone. So, today's been a little rough day for both me and Tanya. We got up this morning, we got dressed. Um, you know, we met up with each other. I briefly had breakfast. We took off, went to church this morning, but then something happened where God intervened in a situation that only if he could have orchestrated. Um, one of my friends is going through a breakup, a really, really nasty one, and he's emotionally not doing well, and he almost took his life today. And I felt compelled to invite him to hang out with me and Tanya sitting in the pew with Scott. So he came and joined us and then during the service he just disappeared. We thought he went to the bathroom. Everyone thought he went to the bathroom. But then like 20 minutes passed we're both like worried. So I got up went to go look for him. Freaking uh, one of my other uh, the second dairy pastor Pastor Josh came up to me. He's like hey have you seen David? I'm like well he's with us. Was with us. I actually came up out here to see how he's doing. And he's like, yeah, no, he's gone. He got his car and left. I'm like, okay. So I went back and sat down and messaged David he was okay. But then something really hit me. This this fear was running through me. This anxiety, like, I felt like something was wrong. You know, kind of like Spider-Man's Spidey sense. If you watched um, Into the Spider-Verse, not Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, really Spider-Man, Spider but there's one specifically that I'm talking about. There's a scene in Spider-Man, no Way Home, where he detects the Green Goblin without even knowing he was detecting him. While they're all in the living room, he's all like trying to figure out what was his feeling. So I went outside to call David, then Shaylee joined me and Chris joined me, and we all agreed that somebody should go, and I volunteered in there. I was like, hey, I'm not taking off anybody. Let's make sure he's okay. I want to drive to his place. So I listened to my, to my gun, and I drove straight over to David's. Of course, Dave was like, yeah, no, you don't need to come over, no, 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 no come over, you're, you're, I don't want really, you feel like you're a burden, and I'm like, no, we're coming to be with you, so we went to my friend's place, and I just hugged him, loved on him, he cried, told me about how depressed he was, and how he's just done with life, and how he's just giving up, he just, he is so tired of being depressed all the time, and feeling helpless, and being at the mercy of everyone else around him. And I'm like, I start crying because I know exactly what he's talking about. I have been there. I have done that. It sucks. Especially when you're alone. And, you know, I reached out to most of the men in my church and said, hey, 
I really need all you men to come over, please. David needs, my friend needs prayer. He needs prayer. Please, guys, please come. And in the end, only two guys came, Chris and um, Lucas. So we prayed over him, loved on him, cried with him, ministered to him for a good, I want to say, what, an hour and a half? Almost two hours I spent with him. And, you know, by the end of it, he was feeling a lot better, felt a little more confident, drained. We all were drained. But at the end of the day, I felt like I did the right thing. You know, most people, you, they're an actual danger to themselves. Yes, yeah, call the police. Get them into a men mental hospital. To most people, what they really need isn't a padded cell when they're going through something like this, where they're so hurt and depressed and depraved love that they feel like they need to die. No one just wants to die, not unless there's no hope. And David felt so like this that I've never seen David like this before. And my friend, he was feeling so much pain, so much pain. Um, afterwards, I told him, you, if you need to talk to someone, you call me. You call me, you call Chris, you call somebody. And I'm, I am glad that I was able, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to save his life. And that is like a huge deal to me. Not because I'm getting credited or attention for it or, oh, good for you, Victor, you saved someone's life. No, this is a big deal. I think, I think there's a lot of people who need love and they're not getting it because people are too busy trying to freaking fix people. That they're not doing the one thing that people need. You know, everyone thinks that when someone's hurting, you need to tell them what to do. You need to pray over them. You need to read the scriptures at them. You need to throw information at them. And know what most people want when they're going through grieving and pain. I, I, I know me for one, and I know him for one too. We just need someone to listen to us and love on us and be there for us and support us emotionally. We don't need money or gifts or food or things to make us feel better. Yeah, it helps, but it doesn't actually meet the core problem. And Tanya's witnessed this with me. Yeah, the, all I need is a little bit of love. And, okay, yeah, no. Go fine. Mm. I guess you have to suck it up. Mm, if I can have someone say something about it, I can easily go around this. say who David's last name is or where he's from or any details because that's a little too much. But I will ask those of you who are Christians and you're watching this video, please keep me in your prayer. The enemy is just crushing him. Left. Oh my god! Left and right. There's knowledge of the merch point. No one said Oh, I misunderstood. I misunderstood. It's it's that's okay. I was going to go this way anyway. Victor, Joshua. Uh, yeah, no, we're going this way. Look at that. That is Victor, one freaking... You're not even going the right direction now. I am. We're going south. We live north. We live mm -hmm. north. We're not going we're exactly north. Direction. We're just going the way that the freeway is taking us. I know how to get to your place from here. Take her a while, but she'll learn eventually. Traffic jam currently has two minutes to keep versus a windy ass road in the local streets. Also, he did not have to stop for you. No, he didn't. I'm really up surprised no one's coming here driving again while he was being with us. That is That is remarkable. Anyway, where was I? I know how to get there from here. I don't need help. Well, it's your fault. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to see how close you can follow the rules of the record. Yeah. <laughs> if you deviate, I'll tell you. Then you just watch what you're going to do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just really curious now how much you're going to um, actually follow the record and route that we tell me where to go. I'm just using the route that I know best because, like, I've walked these roads. I didn't ask. Actually, I was curious. 
Yeah. And bust. But okay. So I'm curious. Am I, do I, am I navigating? Am I telling you what to turn? Nope. Am I telling you that the next turn is three and four left hand? Ish? Nope. Because I just did. <laughs> and I'm ignoring you. <clears throat> I'm so glad. I'm so happy you have free will. Well, thank you. <laughs> You said you're so glad. Everyone's born with free will. Oh, crap. Oh, no. It's like you had your left turn only way. Sorry, right turn only way. Uh, it'll work. Either way. One way we'll get there. Somebody fucked it up already. Hey-o. Google Maps says you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Google Maps says I'm a loser. No. I'm a victor. There's a difference. Hey, you kind of are, huh? Victor is... Yes, I just now made the country shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's starting to get a little chilly. You're getting... You never get cold. Well, it helps that I'm like literally right in front of these two. Right in front of these two? Yeah. I'm still hot. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's nice to to feel needed and actually fulfill my purpose. Which, I just want to be wanted. You're wanted. Oh. By the police He's of Olympia. Love sometimes. Yeah. I just need to be needed. Whoa. Like to know I'm crossing someone's mind. I just want to be loved. Oh, that's a car. Wow, that was a very purpley green car. I think someone likes the Joker. Oh, green are opposite colors. Was it a chameleon? It was like a Joker colored car. That's what it was like accented? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of red and white. <sighs> this mustache. Discover something new today. So. Tanya's like, you want to be sporadic? You want to? I mean, not sporadic. You want to do some something spontaneous? Take that lighter and light your mustache on fire. Your face on fire. Light, light your face on fire. So I got it and I put. I didn't put on my face and light it because that's stupid. So I was cautious and put up near my mustache. You and went then, real slow. Like, yeah, super slow. Yes, because I rather be slow and not burn right, myself. Right before he did it, I said, you know, human hair is highly flammable. <laughs> Apparently, he didn't believe. <laughs> so I kept going, being stupid, and <laughs> burnt all my face. Yeah. No. Nope. You can't even tell. Yeah. It's really, really close. But after we did that, me and Tanya, we then just loved on each other for a little bit and just talked. And then we decided, let's go to the Port of Olympia and just hang out there for a while. So we did. Then we laid in the grass. Yeah, we did that. That was fun. I got you. Google says you're a loser by doing this left turn. I did? Yeah. Well, knows. guess what? I'm Batman. You yield to all these cars now. Yep. That's why Google says you're a loser, because you yield to all 20 of these cars. And those pedestrians. <laughs> you fool. Actually, you can't do that. It's not legal. Actually, it is. No, it's not. You, if you're left turning... Left, you must yield to everybody that's in front of you. Wait. Hear me out. I'm not turning. I'm just moving forward. So by the time I start turning red, I can turn. I'll be in the middle of the lane waiting to turn. How is this faction what going straight? Okay, the Google map says it only adds two minutes, but you didn't see the line I saw. I saw a really long Victor, line. No, for real. How is yielding at a left turn, which has no left turn through the red lane, actually going straight to the intersection? That's what I was asking. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, the route I'm taking is the route that I take to get to your place when I'm going through back roads. When I'm coming to or from the church. Anyway, you already deviated. Now we're going to the church. More or less. Dust. So I know. This one is, just, this is a put tiny... Put some cement walls up. Or don't you just make it a four-way stop. Like, it's not that hard, people. I mean, when I first, when that was put, put there, when I was driving the Jeep, I, I ran over that, that little <laughs> roundabout. Those little bumps? Yeah, and the roundabout. <laughs> and the patch of cement that's called so-called roundabout. Yeah, it's like a tiny roundabout. It's not even a roundabout. It's, it's, it's barely even worth it. Was the message any good this morning? The message? Yeah. Oh, um, that was normal. Just the average amount of stuff, I guess. What was it about? Uh, I forgot. 
I'm gonna have to watch it later. I literally forgot. Like, I forgot it was a Susan Hatch. Every time our pastor talks, he talks a lot of life yes. and like skills and good stories. And I really like it when I can listen to Rob's. I think I was just mostly distracted by uh, everything regarding the human. I did not take it on a lot. I mean, I know it was good because Rob always does good work. It's just. I mean, fair. That's a fair <laughs> assessment. I was wondering why would he be down here if not to call me and let me know he's on his way down here already, which he's not supposed to be here until Tuesday, which makes no sense. Why would he drive just down? Head start on things. Uh, I'm just, I'm rambling. Ugh. Anywho, uh, we then laid in grass. I played with the dog we for a little bit. We touched grass. We did the thing all the freaking people are whining about all the time. Well, go touch grass. So we did. Yep. We touched grass, all right. We cuddled on the grass. And then we... We played fetch with the dog a couple of times. Yeah. Some random dog. He was so adorable. I want The owner was nearby the whole time, but it was just... It was nice. It was like it was like having Shadow around again. Shadow was our family dog when we were younger. And then we went from there and went over the mall, got some minchies. I haven't had that in years. I think the last time I had minchies was with Kayla and her husband, and that was like forever. Like at least 12, 13 years ago by now, I think. So that was, you know, fun. And then we walked back. That's when we had the incident with the hurt couple ganger. Now we're here driving back roads over to her apartment, getting our swim stuff, heading over to our gym before it ends on October 3rd, basically a month from now. And then probably just gonna relax for us today and just cuddle and watch movies or something. I don't know. We'll see how she feels. And then we're gonna go to bed and then tomorrow we're gonna drive all the way up to Renton around 9.45 in the morning to hang out with uh, Hannah and Sarah for the day. That's gonna be fun, I think. I think. Not quite sure. Sarah swears she has a really cool new TV that she wants me to see. So. We're gonna see a new uh, TV. I can't that, imagine why a TV would be so exciting. It's, it's a TV. They, they it's never. Fun. So they are like extremely poor. And like for them, like a smart TV or any TV that's high tech to them is it's like it's like he's looking inside Pandora's box. You should have seen them when, when they got an Xbox. It was entertaining watching them. But like, I don't know, I'm excited. Basically today we're taking care of our friend, but we're also taking care of ourselves too, because like as much as I love people and helping them, it drains me, so I have to recharge after something like that, but it, it's worth it. I wanted him to feel like he his feelings were valid, you know, what he's going through is valid, and that, you know, despite everything going on, he is loved by our church, and we, this is the one church that I feel very strongly, without a doubt, loves people, genuinely cares about people, genuinely wants to help people. Um, Luke has told me that all the men, since, they, since all of them couldn't come over, what they did do is got together after church in a, in a circle, and all the men prayed for David, even though David was at, and I were at his apartment. And hearing that from Lucas... Oh, just passed out of school, I just realized. Yeah. No, do you reckon that's where we're at now? I reckon it's now, and I reckon it's another direction. I never do. I haven't paid attention to the scene right back, and I'm like, oh. Do you mind if I do the thing? Go to 14. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Gotta get over this someday. Well, with that being said, we're almost back to her place. We're going, going to get going. I'll probably talk a little bit later. I don't know. See how I feel later this, this afternoon. 
but I just want to say thank you everyone who's been supportive with him and helping him and loving on him and I just want to ask people for prayer for him to continue fighting as he sorry as he continues fighting the good fight struggling against his depression against his breakup with his his ex fiance and you know the pain that they're going through is unimaginable the stuff that they're dealing with and I, I, my prayer for them is that they're able to through God's power specifically get back together someday um, they were very happy together they were good for each other in my opinion in a lot of ways and my biggest thing is that I pray that God will use this situation to bring them closer to him and uh, with that being said we'll get going anything you want to add Tanya anything you want to add Tanya you and my father both called me at the same time while I was taking a shit. I'm like, how did they tell me to get so popular while I'm in the bathroom? <laughs> Rob has it. On different applications, too. He uses WhatsApp, he uses the phone. Um, so, I fun just, fact, I, just could not catch a break. I do the same thing to Rob. We could ask him. Like, I literally <laughs> call him. All the, every time I call him, he's always on the shitter. Every single time. I'm just sitting here and just like, well, I got some free time. I told my dad I got some free time because you were going to be with David for who knows how long. Yeah. And then he finally called me an hour later while I'm in the bathroom. I missed the call because I'm, I'm, as a rule, I don't I don't answer the phone in the bathroom. That's freaking weird. And, I, and, I, and my and hygiene requires two hands. And then you called like one second later. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck? It's not like I can schedule these calls. <laughs> Just, Hi, I'd like to schedule an appointment to call you at this time today. I, I know that, but it's like, that's, that's, not the, that's not the point. The point of that phone was blowing up. I, didn't, I could do nothing to stop it. Like, what's happening? <laughs> I'm just trying to hang up this peaceful shit, guys. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. So, TMI. Good stuff. For Everybody the podcast. Everybody Poops. There's literally a book about it. Get over it. <laughs> There's a wait, what? There's a book about it. It's called Everybody Poops. I think the picture is of an elephant on the front. I've taken a shit. It's for children. It's exemplifying the fact that. Can you slow down? This is a crush. I didn't know my road got so bumpy overnight. Yes, yeah, they've been working on it for a while now. Oh, come on, dick. Come on, I'm on a corner street here. They had, you don't yield you to you. You got the shitty street. How do you deal with that? He lives on this shitty. Oh, anyway, go before that car. The book is designed to exemplify the fact that poop is nothing to be ashamed of because everybody does it. It's as simple as that. Would you like me to come inside with you? You gotta drop off here because I'm stuck anyway. Oh, that's true. So, uh. Okay. I'll park near the apartment then. Yes. Yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's what I wanted to add to the video. So, how much of uh, Google was I following? I mean, once it recalibrated for each wrong turn you made, <laughs> I think it was maybe two of them. I don't like driving in, in traffic. He is traffic jam phobic. Let's face the facts. He is traffic jam phobic. We could be in no hurry at all. We have 12 hours to get somewhere. He'll still freak out. Traffic, traffic scares the crap out of me because those are so That's unpredictable. Like, Around here, going slow. if it's going slow, it still scares the crap out of me. How is going slow scarier than going quick? Because what if we have to be somewhere on time? But, but, but we don't. What if I'm hungry? You have to go to the bathroom. But you're not. You don't. Again. It's a stressor for me. So Victor is very future oriented. What if, what if, what if oriented? And I'm not. You know, they should have used me in a TV show when Marvel made a What If series, which is all about what ifs. <laughs> that would have been funny. Whee! Just going all certain directions. And I'm more. Why didn't I? Why couldn't I? If How I, should I? I should have. I could have. I'm past oriented. We. I'm hindsight oriented. He's foresight oriented. Where are you going? I'm going to your apartment. Okay. Good. <laughs> you get upset when I turn in this road, so I don't do it when you're in the car. You do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too many. It's designed to be an in and out, but they have it set up, so you're only supposed to go one way, hyphen, it's, you know. It should be an exit only. 
answer should be like back here. That would make the most sense. It, 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 but fuck that, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's garbage. That's what it is. It's absolute garbage. I am taking a gamble. It's like glass space available. I'm watching. We're good. We're good. God. We're good. I think I heard a kiss it, dude. No, I'm pretty sure I did. No, I'm, I'll check that. Nope. Nope. We'll wait until after I get us parked. I don't see any marks on him. Not yet. Get close and we'll talk. I swear I heard a kiss. I swear I did. I felt it too, I'm sure. Okay, you go check it. Now in this video. Car. I will! In five fucking minutes. No. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching, guys. Um, holy crap, it turned to soup. My mint cheese ice cream is soup now. I love soup. No? Did I? It's hard to tell. Check that. Leave that where it is. Okay. Did I? I said leave it where it is. Put it back. Put all that shit back. Put all Come of it back. I'm away. leaving the car. So am I. Put it all of it. Put all of it back. I was coming back for all of that. Yeah. You didn't trust me. No. That's on you. Maybe I was gonna lock the door and save you a trip. Me do my job. Okay. Just ah, fuck. I'm sorry. You whack your head. I'm gonna get going. Thank you for watching. Hope everyone has a great day.